Can you guess the cycle time saving on this part from TTP's latest investment? Well, stick around to find out. Alex, I want to talk a little bit about this part. So what was the process before your new machine and what were some of the problems you faced? Yeah, so before we had the new machine, um, we used to do that in two operations. Um, and obviously there's a handling in between the two ops going between two different machines. So, so the lead time is longer on those. Um, and then also birds nesting um, on, on the larger batch runs. So which means we couldn't leave it running unattended for too long before we had to stop it and clear swarf. And just for people at home that don't know, what is birds nesting? Uh, it's basically where you get swarf wrapped around your tools and then that gives you problems with your finishes and to tolerances. So that was causing you some problems as well as obviously the cycle times with having to do two operations. Now, I want to move on because you've got your new machine in. So how has this made this part so much easier for you? Um, well, obviously it's a highly productive machine, so we're now getting it done complete. Um, so no, no more two operations and also it's coming off completely deburred, finished. So no, no, no hand work, no bench work needed at all. Um, yeah, and we've eliminated the bird's nesting problem as well, so we can leave the machine running overnight, unattended. So, talk me through some of the specs of the machine. How has this machine made this faster? Well, because we've got two spindles, two turrets, um, all driven with twin Y axis, um, so we can have um, two or even three tools cutting at the same time using simultaneous machining and superimposed machining if we need to. Um, so yeah, so basically we've, yeah, we're making them much faster now. And this isn't quite like other fixed head machines, is it? Because you can actually move your subspindle. Correct, yeah, yeah. So the subspindle moves in the X as well, um, not just the Z, um, which allows you to do lots of things. You can cut with three tools rather than just two. Um, and you can also move it off center for like longer tools so you get more clearance. Now, I want to talk this part, the finish, this part looks, looks amazing. Now, did you have any problems before with um, when this part was coming off the machine? So with the conveyor and, and how it was picking this machine up? Yeah, so before, um, sometimes we found that there was like uh, scratches and dents on them where they'd like fall on top of each other. Um, but the, the unloader on this machine is really good and it handles them really delicately, so we don't have that now. Now, you've just said you've got so much more in this machine, but has that made it more difficult to program? And have you ever programmed a machine like this before? Uh, no, it's the first twin turret machine we've ever had um, with three channels on the control. So when we first got it, it was a bit, bit daunting, but the Alcart Wizard software um, supplied by citizens made it really straightforward and simple to program. And then obviously, it's also got the touch screen. So is that, does that help you get around the menus faster? Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, definitely. You're running this part through ball spindles. Are you using the simultaneous machining to run these? Yes, we are, yeah. So we're machining both the front end and the back end of the part at the same time. So we've always got at least two tools in the cut. So I just want to jump back quickly. You talked about that you had birds nesting before. So how does this machine help you not have them problems? Uh, so we have the LFV technology on this machine, um, which means basically we can break the stringy swarf up um, and that stops the bird nesting from happening in the first place. So we can leave the machine running for a longer period of time overnight. And is that the only advantage of this? Because obviously your surface finish and just does it give you confidence to walk away? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, we can, we can tell it to do a certain amount before we walk away or we can just load it right up and let it run until it runs out of bar. So, obviously you've got the bar feeder with this machine. So how easy is that to run? Yeah, it's really easy. There's only one, one value to change per job. So it's essentially plug and play? Yeah. So at the start of this interview, I asked you what you think the cycle time saving on this, and now we're gonna ask Alex. So come on then, Alex. What was this before with the two ops compared to now? Uh, so we're around about the five minute mark with the two ops before. Uh, now they're coming off complete in two minutes, 20 seconds. So essentially you've got a 50% cycle time yeah. reduction. So as well as a 50% cycle time reduction, they've also eliminated all of their bench work. So Alex, what's going to be your next machine purchase? 